we're now halfway through the course. And I'd like to take this opportunity to mention three things. First thing I'd like to mention is um, what I mention every week is your um, how well you did the quiz. And this week, uh, the marks were exceptional, so I don't think we need to go over each mark. Um, your average mark was 90%, and that was true both the, for the in-class group and the online group. Um, only uh, There were only a few errors in each of these questions, and there wasn't any particular area error that uh, that stood out. Only a few errors, nothing uh, exceptional standing out. Just some small mistakes some of you made. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the midterm. For the midterm, um, you should all know that you're only responsible to the, the, the material that we covered up to today, including the problems for today. So the, the problems that we'll, we'll cover uh, with the tutorials next week. Uh, the exam will be about uh, 33, 34 questions, and they'll be all multiple choice with only five choices and only one correct choice. So they'll be simple, simpler than the quizzes that you've had up to now. Finally, I'd like to welcome you to my living room and tell you a little bit about myself. You might notice that I'm in a wheelchair, and I have been so now for 10 years. Um, in the fall of 2004, uh, I woke up and um, felt a chest ache. Now, normally, I like to stay at home and prepare for my lecture. But on that day, I thought maybe I should get closer to uh, an emergency room. So uh, normally I bike to work. I thought be, be more more careful that I should walk to work today. And, um, and so I walked to my office and prepared my lecture. But by lunchtime, the, the, my chest pains were getting worse. They weren't getting any better. So I phoned the secretary and asked her to inform the class that I won't be coming in that day. Instead, I walked to the emergency room and signed myself in. At about the sixth hour mark, uh, I passed out because I ran out of oxygen. My aorta had r ripped open and all my blood had poured into my chest wall. Um, at that point, they took me uh, quickly into um, the operating room, tore open my chest, and replaced my aorta um, by a graft, uh, one with a, a Dacron graft in it that closed up the aorta and patched me back up. I woke up two weeks later. I was in a coma for two weeks. Uh, to discover that, that, yes, I was alive, but that um, I was paralyzed. Apparently, uh, my because uh, my my brain had run out of oxygen, and uh, as a result of this uh, anoxia, my spinal cord was permanently damaged. Um, in addition, I found that part of my cortex was permanently damaged. Uh, I have a lesion in my V1 uh, just to the right of my fovea. So what, what I can't see the next word in a sentence. That makes things like reading difficult. Um, I also initially, after this traumatic event, uh, had some sort of lesion in what we studied a few weeks ago, Aereo LOC, the lateral occipital complex. And as you may recall, 
is an area involved in object recognition and recognition of faces. And I had difficulty recognizing um, members of my old family, my son, my sons and my daughter. I also had difficulty telling time. I couldn't tell which way the arrow, what, 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 what the pointing of the two arrows meant. I could still make, read a digital watch, read the numbers on a watch, but not um, an analog watch. And I was anxious very much to get out of ICU and get to the magnet, my magnet at the Robarts and do scans of myself and figure out all about where this lesion is because that's the area I had been doing research for the previous 10 years. But unfortunately they wouldn't let me out of ICU and unfortunately or fortunately, depending on what, what one's viewpoint, um, this, the LOC um, lesion um, uh, effects went away and I recovered my ability to recognize faces and recovered my ability to read analog watches. Over the next summer, I worked hard to sort of reactivate other areas of my cortex by playing chess with my kids, and I returned to teaching the following fall. And there was something wonderful about that fall and the following sp spring. So in the fall, I taught this course, and the following spring, I taught the med students. And for each course, I won a very important teaching award. So I won two teaching awards that, that year. And I hadn't run, won any awards the previous 30 years of teaching. So something unique was had to happen after my episodes of, of damage in the cortex. Somehow I was better at teaching before, after, than before. And I think one of the things I've been doing that's a lot better is by slowing down. So I tend to teach things uh, at a slower pace and taking time to explain things more carefully. So that's, I guess, enough about me. And I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming midterm. We'll see you in the next class.